Hi, beautiful. Mastering the art of blow drying is one of the best things you can do for yourself. And that is because a beautifully executed blow dry will really escalate your look. If you can learn how to use a blow dryer correctly and effectively, you can actually make all your other hair tools completely obsolete. I'm talking about curling irons and flat irons and all that stuff. You can do pretty much anything with a blow dryer. It does take a little more patience, but you can get there. Not saying that I don't like curling irons and flat irons, but like sometimes like you don't actually need them and like oh, people abuse them a lot. You can use a blow dryer and it's like a little bit less like harsh on your hair. However, I will say you must have a good blow dryer, all right? Do your research. Today, I'll be showing you how to execute three different blow dries. One being the voluminous, bodyful, beautiful, glamorous blowout. Second being a pin straight blow dry. And third being a beautiful tousled beach wave blowout. And with all that said, let's get blowing, shall we? Let's do it. And up first, we have the voluminous body blowout. And what you'll need for this is a blow dryer with a nozzle. I don't wanna see any of you blow drying your hair without a damn nozzle. It's a concentrator nozzle. These are important for directing airflow properly so your hair doesn't come out frizzy and you don't burn your hair. Don't start blow drying your hair without one. I will come through that screen and I will, mm, it won't be cute. You'll also need a round brush. Ooh, I'm choosing this one because I want a little more curl in the hair. This will heat up as we blow dry. There's no natural bristles on here. This will get very hot and do a lot of work for me. But if you don't want any real curl in the hair, use a larger size than this. And that way it'll just give you a little bit of bevel and less curl. But I want some curl in there. I like a little curl. You're also gonna need a detangling brush or a detangling comb. I prefer a comb typically. And a comb to part the hair. I would also recommend some alligator clips or just clips that are easy to use. We're going to be doing some sectioning with this blowout, so these are pretty useful and easy to use and fun, and I just like the way they go like this. Then we have duckbill clips. These are them. These are amazing for setting blow dries. You'll see how we use these later. These are pretty handy, or bobby pins could also work if you don't have these, but I'd recommend them, all right? Metal duckbill clips pretty essential. I will try my best to link all these tools down below if you would like to purchase. And for products, I'll be using electric grain moisture cream. I'll be using force field heat shield. I'll be using Viper smoothing oil. And lastly, we have my brand new product released today electrified volumizing foam. We'll get more into what these products do later on. Let's begin our blow dry. Firstly, let's do a quick comb out. Let's brush our hair out. She's nice and smoothed out with the comb. First, we're gonna go in with the new product, electrified volumizing foam. Oh my God, if you love volume, this is for you. Oh my God, I love volume. This volume foam actually works by swelling your hair fibers and then adding Adding just a soft, flexible hold to your roots wherever you apply this product. I'm gonna get my part where I want it. I'm gonna do a middle part today. And what I like to do is just directly apply the volumizing foam onto the wide tooth part of the comb. I'll just do a few squirts down the comb like this and I'll apply right to her part first. Let's get it all around the top. Oh, it smells so good. If you have one of my products, you know that smell. And we're gonna go right onto the side and get that really raked into her roots. That looks good for that side. A little of this product goes a long way. Just make sure you're covering all of your roots with it, but you can experiment at home how much or how little you wanna use on your hair. Of course, the more you use, the more hold you'll get. The less you use, the less hold you'll get. So whatever you're into, you can do it. Let's do a few more pumps on the brush and really focusing it like on the crown area. You don't really need a lot of volume like on the nape of your neck. There's no real need for that. That. So really around the front and around the crown is the most important. And we're gonna apply some electric grain moisture cream to the ends of her hair to make them super smooth and shiny and help cure those split and dead ends. I'm gonna do like a dime sized amount to start. I'm gonna rub it around my hands. I'm gonna fling a little on the floor and I'm just gonna go right on to the ends of her hair. This is not a heavy product, so you can use quite a bit of it and it will not build up too fast on you and it won't make your hair like all greasy 
it nasty. It'll really just do a great job of sinking into the hair and really smoothing it out. When you style your hair with the right products, it really changes everything and makes your life a whole lot easier. It makes your hair look 20 times better. And lastly, of course, we're gonna use force field heat shield because we are using heat styling tools today. We wanna make sure we protect the hair from heat styling damage. This protects up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. One, two, one, two, one, two. Make sure you shake this before using it. It's very important. Let's just comb everything in. Make sure all that force field is covering all of the hair strands, protecting the hair from all of that heat damage. That way her hair feels fresh and new no matter how many times a week she blow dries it. Now, firstly, while your hair is wet, if you have a very kinky curly hair in the front of your hairline, it's going to be important to right now, while it's wet, get those curls out of your hairline. We're going to take our blow dryer on a lower setting. Mine's in the second highest heat setting and the first blow setting. So I'm going to take the comb on a fine tooth side and just push her hair back out of her face and go in on those roots and just get them really nice and straight and dry. Look at how smooth and beautiful that is right there. We're only trying to do like an inch up from the root. The rest we'll get later, but already guys, girls got volume. <laughs> this will be great because when your hair is wet, it's much easier to release wave and curl than when it's dry. When it's dry, it just tends to want to stay the way it is and not do anything. So definitely at this point, make sure those roots are all straight. Now that the front is blow dried and we are already seeing crazy amounts of volume, you wanna make sure it is nearly dry, slightly damp before then going in with the round brush. It'll save a lot of time, effort, and energy. Now we are 80% dry. Let's section the hair out properly in order to do this blowout. Now the sectioning I like to do a lot is called a halo section. We're gonna get that parting down right in the center again. Fix that up. Go about two inches back and carry that around the head in a circle. And we're gonna get this little circular section in the center. All right, so that is my sectioning. As you can see, it is a circle cut out in the middle and we have the perimeter all down. Our first section is going to be right about here. We're gonna use our alligator clip to just section that off and this will be our first section we work on. Get your duckbill clips ready to be used. Let's begin round brushing this section and of course making sure we direct the hair up and not ever down. So you saw what I did there. I kind of just smoothed out the ends first. That's really important. And then just twirl the brush up and under. And now we release it. And already, I didn't even set it yet. This is literally how it will stay. That is literally just with the volumizing foam. That is not even a pin curl set yet. I am going to make it even more extra though and do a pin curl set because I want this to be as voluminous as possible. And this is going to help really set that wave in. We're going to do the same exact thing again, but this time bringing this section forward and up and rotating back away from the face. Beautiful, let's release that and let's put our clip in and that's our second section. So we have this one going under, this one going back and they're looking great. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side and then on the back, we're just gonna make these two go back towards each other. I'll show you that when I'm all done. Now that we have the entire perimeter done, we have the back circle. Now we're gonna take that circular formation out and we're gonna fuck it, cut this in half. You actually don't make this line perfect like I'm doing. Make it a little jagged. That way you don't have harsh sections when you are done with this. We're gonna work on these two sections right here. We're gonna part this in half with our hands, not make it perfect. And we're gonna work on that. It should be zigzag. That's good. That way you don't get part lines. All right, let's pin that section up like we've done before. Nothing new to see here, guys, all right? Now let's work on the top. We have that all done. Oh my gosh, this is going by so fast. This is so easy. Oh my God. We're parting this next section again in the middle. Boom, done. And we're gonna bring this up and around. Please make sure 
your blow dryer is always behind your brush. It's always following your brush. You're not leading with the blow dryer, you're following with it. If you lead with it, you'll get a bunch of frizz. And also make sure you're angling it like this, not like this, like this. This will give you frizz, this will give you smoothing. Let's pin that baby up and we'll do the other side the exact same and then we'll be done with this portion. At this point, your hair should look like this or something like this. It doesn't need to be perfect. Don't stress about it. But this is all of our sections all done. Ooh, this is gonna be voluminous as hell, man. I can't wait. You really wanna let this cool down for about 15 to 20 minutes. However, if you're, you know, impatient like a Mizzy, use the cool setting on your blow dryer and just, you know, quickly go over that, get it nice and cooled down, and then we can begin taking them out. All right, and the fun part, let's begin taking them out. I like to also just put a little bit of oil oil on my hands like this. I'm using Viper today, just so we have like a little bit of a lubricant so that all of the hair is nice and sleek and soft while we're taking it out. Now I am just going in with my hands and just raking through it and scrunching it with that oil. Just around the hairline a little bit just to get it really smooth. And now we're just working it in. Maybe I overdid it with that uh, volumizing foam a little bit. <laughs> Listen, when I said electrified, I wasn't kidding. <laughs> we can actually just comb it all back, get rid of some of that excess volume that we have. It's a little bit much. And that, my friends, is a blowout. Like, hello, bounce. Hello, body. Hello, beautiful. It's incredible. It would look much better on a real person and it wouldn't have these weird parts going on, but I am so happy with this. And girl, that volume in there will stay. I mean, look at the sides. They're like straight up at this point. Oh, I love it. That is a bodylicious blow dry. It's one of the most important blow dries to learn how to do it yourself. The Voluma's body blow dry is just such a classic and a staple. And next, I'll be going over how to do a sleek, straight blow dry on one side and a nice bohemian wavy blow dry on the other side. We're gonna start off with the sleek straight blow dry. What you'll need for this is firstly, of course, a blow dryer with a nozzle. Next, I'll be using a round flat brush like this. It has natural and synthetic bristles in it. Or you can just use a regular kind of rectangular paddle brush. That will also work for you. But it's definitely important for your brush to have a mix of a natural and synthetic bristles on it. That will help a lot with smoothing, detangling, and getting rid of frizz. I also like the size of this because it's not too big, it's not too small. You can really get into the root with this and it's easy to use. A detangling comb or brush and a regular comb like this. You'll also need some clips. And for this sleek straight blow dry, I'll be using Viper smoothing oil, BDSM slick and defined balm, electric rain moisture cream, and force field heat shield. These are the products I'll be using and let's begin. All right, let's do this straight side. Now, first we are gonna make sure it's nice and combed out and we have our parting where it goes. And now we're gonna put our product in real quick. It's just two products to start and then two products to finish. So what we're gonna do is put electric rain in just a dime size amount like that. Rub it all around our hands and our palms and get it all in the bottom of the hair even on top just a little bit. Don't worry about it getting oily on the top because this product is made to really dry into the hair and not be oily, so it's really great. All right, so now that we have all of that in, we're gonna comb it through really quick. Your hair will most likely be more wet than this. Mine is just drying really, really fast. And then we're gonna take our force field, shake it up good, and we're gonna spray from about here and one, two, and that's enough. A little bit more if you have a lot of hair. And we're gonna comb that through and we can begin. We are going to first, of course, hit that hairline like we did before and get it really nice and smoothed out before we start. Just following the comb with the blow dryer and getting it really close to the head. Alrighty, she is all smoothed out. Now let's work on our sectioning. We're gonna do the same exact sectioning we just did before on the other blow dry. And we're just gonna section out a little circle in the middle. And now just pretend we're working on the entire head, not just this one 
damn sad. Let's take a wide section about the size of the brush, the wideness of the brush. Now you might think that a smooth blow dry is really easy to do. Actually, it's one of the more complicated things to master because you really need to get that hair really, really smooth and beautiful. So we're gonna start by just clamping down the hair on the top, pulling it really taut and going in there right behind it and smoothing everything out really good and just holding this really tight. After that, we're gonna go in on the ends and get them really smooth all the way down to the ends, okay? All the way until it falls off the brush. Really get that smoothed out, and then you can work on the middle of the hair and get that all nice and smooth. And again, we're not beveling this brush, we're not twisting, you're not turning it, we're just going really, really straight down and flat. Now that looks beautiful, all right? It'll really come together in the end once we get all the other sections done. But the secret is to really make sure that you're directing the blow dryer down like this and pushing all those little baby hair strands all in the back of her hair so they don't poke out. Now I'm gonna continue and finish the rest of this side and I'll show you guys the finished result. And for the next section, we'll just cut this halo in half back here and we'll work on this back half and then the front half after. You really wanna master this grip, okay? So my thumb is on this side and my other fingers are on the top. It's just like that. And you're just combing the hair into the brush and holding it with your thumb. This will give you extreme amounts of tension on the root great for getting that frizz out of the root. Okay, and now when I'm done with the straight blow dry, it looks really good so far. I'm just gonna give it a real comb first. And then I like to do the finishing touches with my hand. And we'll just go in and make sure all those little baby hairs that are poking out are put back down. Now, this still isn't looking exactly how I want it to look like. So we're gonna apply some BDSM and some Viper into my hand. I'm just gonna take a little tiny amount of this, really move it around and just include some Viper on top of it, just a little bit. And we're gonna go on the top of the hair and this will help with all of that frizz and staticky-ness going on. And it'll really help add some hold and structure to the hair. Alrighty, and here is the finished result. It is very straight. Of course, she has these horrid split ends. If she didn't have these, it would look a lot cuter. Just imagine without it. We'll give her a trim some other day, I'm sure. It's very glossy, very beautiful, and there was no flat iron involved. Of course, with a flat iron, it's gonna be just a little bit more sleek and straight. You can really do a great job even without a flat iron. Beautiful, and she still has that nice movement going on. This is before and this is after. That sleek, shiny blow dry was just so satisfying to watch. But now we're switching it up. Let's do a nice wavy, funky, fresh bohemian vibe on the other side. You'll need a blow dryer with the nozzle. I'll be using the same rounded flat brush because I love this one and it just works really well for this. You'll need a detangling brush or comb and a regular comb. And lastly, some clips to hold up your sections. For products, you'll need Viper Smoothing Oil, BDSM Slick and Define Balm, Force Fields Heat Shield, and lastly, another brand new product out today, WaveTech Wave Foam. And I'll let you know much more about this product in a little bit. Let's do our beautiful Bohemian Wave Blow Dry. All right, let's clip this up out of the way. Okay. Perfect. Firstly, we'll be applying WaveTech Wave Foam, one of our brand new products out today. So this product will actually enhance your natural curl or wave pattern, defrizz it, make it really nice and structured without the crunch, or it will create new body on straight or lifeless hair. So you can use this if you have curly hair, you can use this if you have straight hair. It's great for all of you. So normally I would use this, pump it in my hands, scrunch it, let it air dry or diffuse it. But today Today we're using it a little bit differently. Now, because this is designed with style locking technology, that means the way you leave it, the way you blow dry it, it'll stay like that. We're gonna use this as actually a blow drying foam of sorts. So it's gonna actually help retain that wave we put into the hair once we're done. So we're gonna just pump about four pumps into our hands, put it all around our hands like that and get it all in there. I love foam because it's so easy to use 
and it really just goes into the hair nicely and it's so light. It doesn't weigh down the hair at all. I hate products that like really weigh down hair. So none of that here. Just a couple more squirts up at the top of her hair. Perfect, and that's all I'm gonna do. We are gonna comb that out. Get that all in there. A little bit of force field, shake it up. Spray a couple of squirts. And just like before, we're gonna hit the hairline first and get that nice and smooth before we begin with the entire blow drying process. All right, and just like before, now that the hairline is smoothed out, we're gonna do the same exact sectioning. There's a lot of repeating here. It's very easy. This is why I love this technique, because it's easy to use with any kind of blow dry that you're doing. You can have fun with it. You can do whatever you want. It's just a nice way to section the hair quickly and easily. We're gonna do a lot of twisting this brush, okay? You have to get used to that. Follow the brush with the blow dryer, and then in the middle of the hair, we're quickly flipping it over. It's a really quick flip, all right? You gotta practice this one. It's not the easiest thing to do, but once you have it, I swear it's really easy. We're gonna then go to the bottom. We're gonna follow the brush with the blow dryer and we're gonna do it again. We're gonna flip it around and drag it all the way down and you'll have this very flat curl. Now, once we're all done, we'll then rake out the curl and you'll see how nice and flat and bohemian and irregular the wave is compared to the round brush we did previously. Alrighty, and that is what it should look like. We'll just let that sit to cool off before raking through it. And let's work on this front piece next, and then we'll work our way around the head, doing the exact same thing we did previously in the other blow dries. You can also go in and reinforce the curl with your fingers and just twirl it around really quick and let it sit just like that. And now we're continuing on our half circle up here and we're just gonna cut this in half and do these two sections. Alrighty, now this is what you should have now. And I'm switching it up, you guys. I'm not gonna be using Viper on this. I wanna be using some Club Kid, get some texture in there first, and then we'll go in with BDSM. I'll show you that now. We're just gonna take a little bit of Club Kid dry shampoo, a very light dusting of it right on those roots. Ooh, girl, she's got that texture and that volume now. All right, now before we rake it all out, let's put a little bit of BDSM just so we can get that little PC texture, that bohemian feel. And now I'm just gonna go in on those ends. This is one of my favorite uses for BDSM is just to make these looks come alive and to really refine these ends because often when the ends are blown straight like this, they can look a little straggly and this kind of just amps them up, gives them that high shine and that nice form. Taking one piece at a time, twisting it around my finger, giving it more and more definition and oh my god, she looks divine, honey. There is no curling iron or flat iron involved with this. It is that easy. You see See what BDSM just did to that? Really added beautiful pieciness to the hair without making it stiff, without making it mattified. And I'm just continuing to dip in and put a little bit more on my fingers and just looking at where it needs more or less. And then lastly, we can just scrunch it in. So sickening. <gasps> you look stunning. And we'll get a little bit right in that front area. But I outdid myself on that one. Come on. You guys, look at all that wave we have. And that was just using this brush and the right products. I didn't do anything camera I swear it actually just came out this incredible and that is with the straight side and the wavy side oh my god oh, so pretty like look at that movement she still has nothing is crispy nothing is hard we didn't use any sprays or anything it's all just the right products the right tools and a good blow dryer and a good technique. This is my personal favorite. I know, I'm not supposed to pick favorites, but like, what can I do? You know, this is so pretty. I want it on my head. This is the new vibe, man, I'm telling you. It's one side straight, one side wavy. Thank you, your appointment today is done and you may leave the premises. Should I throw you again? Oh, 
I threw you again. All right, I'll see you later. Is that mean? I should pick her up. You just look so pretty. I don't want you on my set. It makes me look ugly, you know? And even thrown, she looks fabulous. So those were my three different blow dry techniques. That is how to blow dry hair like a professional at home. I hope you can use one of these techniques on your own hair and get that beautiful blown out hair like you just went to the hairdresser. And if you would like to shop any of the products mentioned in today's video, they will be linked below for you, including my two brand new products released today, electrified volumizing foam and wave tech wave foam. Ooh, these are essential. Oh, they're amazing. I am so excited for you guys to get your hands on these products. Everything is linked below individually as well as the xmodohair.com website. Don't forget to follow me on all the social media networks, including TikTok, Instagram, Twitter at BradMondoNYC. You can also find me on Facebook and Snapchat under BradMondo. And don't forget to follow xmodohair on Instagram to stay up to date with all new product launches happening all the damn time. That is all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. And I'll I'll see you next time. Bye guys. This is Hydromania, our conditioning mist. Hydromania is for those of you looking for hydrated, silky, soft, shiny hair, which I think is all of you. This is guaranteed to make your hair way more manageable, detangled, smooth, and just all around fabulous.